Hey guys, this is Tony with Denner Geek Designs. Today I'm back with another design tutorial. Today I want to talk about how to export animated Twitch emotes. Um, this could also work for Discord emotes also, but mainly just Twitch right now because everyone's talking about Twitch. Um, in my last uh, how to easily make Twitch emotes uh, animated, I guess I forgot to talk about how to export it. So some people had some questions on that. So I wanted to make a video to answer those questions. So here's that video. So we are in After Effects right now, and uh, this is uh, one of my animated emotes orders. So as, as you can see, we have a, a vibing bear, um, which is pretty dope. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced than what I showed in the, uh, the easy way of making this. This has a few different layers going on with a few different effects, but um, we'll have a more advanced one coming out soon to show you how to set up your uh, Clip Studios or your Photoshop files to work properly for doing this kind of stuff. Um, so to export it, you need to make sure you have your your comp that you want selected. So if we wanted rage select, we need to select rage. Um, but we don't want rage. Or if we want to lurk or hype, well, hype just closed, but you know what I mean. So you can't just be generally anywhere else. Um, so we want vibe to export. This may be a little bit different on Mac, if I remember right. Um, the Apple version changes where export is. That might have changed since last time I've used it. It's been a hot minute since I used it on Apple, but we're gonna go to composition. We're gonna go to add to render queue. Um, and this is our render queue. Honestly, you can add, so say if you have like how I had Rage, Lurk, all those other ones, I can add them all here, get them all set up and just export them just to get these AVI files out. So, we're gonna go into output module. We're gonna click lossless. Um, so basically this is the settings we need to change. We want this to still say AVI. We're gonna go all the way down to channels. We want RGB plus alpha. So this is gonna give us our colors and our all of our artwork and the motion that's going on with them. Plus it's gonna also say, hey, this is transparent, which is what alpha means in, in uh, video terms. This is transparent, that needs to be transparent. Um, so we're gonna say, okay. And then we would render this. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now let's take this into Photoshop and I'll show you how to uh, export it in Photoshop, which I figured out, found out is the easiest way to do this. Um, it's probably the most way that I'm comfortable doing it because of how many emotes I've had to export this way, but let's show you how to do it over there. So we're over towards Photoshop. We have our file right here. Um, now we can drag this over here into Photoshop to open it. Um, and as you can see, Photoshop will change its appearance once you put a video file into it. It'll actually create a timeline. Um, Photoshop has some video capabilities in it. It has a little bit of everything. Honestly, Photoshop's become the Swiss Army knife for, photo, for uh, Adobe. Uh, good or bad, whatever you want to say about it, you can say about it. Um, so the only way I figured out how to do this, and this is a little bit clunky to do it, um, so we have to change these individually. Uh, so we have to go to the original, we have to go to the size that it needs for this, uh, which is 112, there we go. And as we can see, it still animates right. Photoshop just takes a bit to uh, showcase it. Now we're gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Um, this will allow us to export a GIF with animation. So as you can see, we can see our frames here. We have 30, it's shown currently 39 of 60, but we have 60 frame, which is good. We want this a loop forever. We wanna make sure we're under GIF also. Uh, for animated emotes, you need to export them as a GIF. Uh, the difference between GIF and PNG is GIF has a little bit less uh, quality, um, but it can do animation and pretty much that's about it. It's also a smaller size overall. Um, but then you're just going to say save. Um, it'll come up weird and look old, but this is because it's the old way of saving images for web in Photoshop. Um, but you'll just keep doing this for up to three sizes you need. Um, there are ways to animate this. Like if you have Stream Deck, you can actually animate this. You can uh, automate this all the way out. Um, but this is pretty much the easy way to do it. Uh, it's 
pretty easy. If you just want to look at these settings, you can take these settings and use them as you want. I've used them and uh, there's been no issues so far with them. But yeah, that's pretty much for this video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or death threats, just get down in the comments down below there. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.